tough one for sure. I gave you one of the numbers, the five, and uh, we just need to make our way through. Okay, so carbon, it looks like it appears twice. Hydrogen, huh? oh. hydrogen only appears here and there, right? Okay, let's start there. That's a good place. That means 5 times 22, what's that? 110. 110? So I need what number here? 55. Great. I assume you might have got that far. Yeah. That's as far as I can get. Okay, that's fine. And then oxygen, it appears a number of times. So that one's a tough one too. Potassium, it only appears twice, but we don't know either of the numbers yet. But that one would have to be double of this one. Okay, if we get in a situation like this, uh, where you can't, you're not sure where to go next, uh, then probably algebra is your next step. Uh, besides guessing and checking, I guess you could always do that. So what I would do is just go like A, pick your favorite letter, C, D, like that. Put them there. And then let's see, for example, we know that A equals 2 times D. Is that all right? Or is it 2A equals D? No, uh, 2 times D will equal A. Oh, okay. no. mm. That means there's 4Ks now. Did I, am I going crazy here? <laughs> yeah, for example, for example, okay, let me just explain my reasoning. If you guys think I'm crazy, yeah, that's fine. A, I'll just, A, the answer is 48. D, the answer is 24. 2 times D is A. Oh, gotcha. Is that okay? All right, okay, we're going to assume that I, I know what I'm doing. No, no that's fine. I, I make mistakes, but. I think, because 2 times D, that means there's 2 DKs on the right-hand side, and there's AKs on the left-hand side, so they have to be equal. Is that cool? Yes? Okay. Let's continue. Let's pick another, uh, uh, what's it called, atom to work with. ANs equals 2B. I think this is the only time we see N. Okay, now let's pick another atom. Uh, oxygen, oxygen will be a little crazier. 3A plus 55 equals 2C plus 55 plus 3D. Is that okay? Okay. And then, is there any atom that I haven't done yet? I've done carbon, right? So let's, I'm just going through all the atoms. Carbon would be 60 on this side equals uh, C. Is it carbon anywhere else? Oh, plus D. And basically I'm building a series of equations. Okay, what, very, what atom have I not done yet? I've done, this is with K, this is with N, this is uh, carbon, and this one was which one? Oxygen. Oxygen. I haven't done hydrogen yet. Let's do a hydrogen. Wait, we already have that. Oh, hydrogen's cool. Is that everything? Okay. Now I want to do just a series of substitutions to get where I want to get. Uh, let's see. If I, uh, what kind of substitution could I make to find something? If I substitute in A for D here, yeah, so I could say, well, C equals from here, uh, 60 minus D, and then uh, A equals 2D, I can go with this one this one, and this one. So I'm going to plug in 3A, which is 2D, plus 55, 
equals 2c, which is 6d minus d, plus 55 plus 3d. Is that okay? So 55 is canceled. I have 6d equals 6d minus 2d, oh, plus 2d. Did you forget the, the 2 for yeah. 2c? Because two, um, c is 60 minus c, and up there you had 2c. Oh, that's 2c. There we go. Thank you. So this is actually 120 minus 2d. I guess this is just a d. Thanks. Yeah. OK, so it looks like 5d is 120. What's d? Twenty. What did you get? Twenty-four. Twenty-four. That sounds good. So I know D over there is twenty-four. Uh, I'll leave the D here. I'll just go twenty-four. Okay. Now that I know D, what's A? Forty-eight. Forty-eight. From here. Now that I know A, what's B? Twenty-four. Now that I know, uh, let's see. I've got, and I've got D, what's C? 36, that goes over here. What am I left with? I think that's everything. 